hello and welcome back to another Fortnite video. So today I'm going to be showing you one of the best spots to drop this season to get wins, use this in ranked, whatever the strategy may be. So as you know, the season cars are overpowered, but with the nerf today of boss cars not being able to regen and boogie bombs being added, they got a little bit nerfed, but I would still say cars are pretty useful as far as doing damage to structures, good little damage here and there. So here's the best spot in my suggestion to draw. It's a gas station in between the three medallion spawns right here. It is probably the biggest gas station on the map, I would have to say. Here is why you want to go here. Tons of chest spawns, as you're going to see in just a second here. I'm going to glide in here. It's pretty contested now. I think there's probably like some content great. I made a video on it because like I, one of my friends showed me this drop spot. And we've been using it in ranked, and we've had great results. We're already Diamond 3. We're going to probably hit Elite maybe by the end of the week at least. So let's show you the spot. So there's a G-Wagon spawn. That spawns right here. As you know, G-Wagon is probably the most commanding car right now. Honestly, though, Octane or using the Whiplash is also a good option, but I would go with G-Wagon. Just because off spawn, I don't know if anybody has something that can shred 2,000 HP away from your car. So landing at this G-Wagon spawn... It's really helpful, so what we're going to do is we're going to land here. Honestly, for off-spawn fighting, sometimes I like to use Machine Gun Turret, if I'm going to be real. But let's go. Not the best mods, but we'll take it. You're going to want to land here. You see, we're, we're sort of contested, not very. You see any players, like, around the roof up there? You can just fire. This is what I like to do. Off-spawn is just drive around, take care of surrounding players, get eliminations. And as your ranked team, you can have multiple people obviously land on the building and loot it up but this is great for this region because if you get your teammates in here just run over cactuses you know get your HP up get moving if there's fights around go take care of them I'm going to show you a great little rotation spot if y'all get full health okay here's some bulletproofs you need bulletproof tires nowadays you don't want your tires getting popped you know we'll switch to nades just because cypher PK claims it's the it's the thing to go with here so we got nades now let me show you this little spot here. We got a slurp tower. You're going to want to use this slurp tower to get up to full HP. You can just quickly boost through it. And you can rotate to any medallion of your preference. That's completely up to you. Personally, I'm just going to go here right now and deal with the red line rig people. The medallion is currently not here, though. But a lot of people still like that in here. It's a great spot. So you can just rotate through all the cactuses. Very good drop. I want to know y'all's opinion so far on the loot path as far as healing up and stuff of the drop. Let's get it moving here. This POI is great to just drive through. As you see, dead. Just like that. This is what I like to do to get my loot off spawn. I let them do the looting for me, and then I kill them with a car. That's how it goes. Is he up top? This is what's great with the nades, is if you can like arc them through a certain spot. That will help you figure out where people are at. So that tells me he's like down here. He's like really far down. And obviously landing here. Boss cars did get nerfed. But I still have an opinion that they are very useful. And that you should try to go for a boss car as much as possible. And going battle bus is helpful. Because if y'all did not know. The battle bus now has or it's had a built in EMP this season. Making it very useful. See how quickly you can just deal with these bots, bro? All you have to do is shoot, nade launcher, just like that, run around and get loot. So I'd like to inform you all before the video shuts out here that I'm going to be doing a V-Bot giveaway at 10k subs. It's 100% free to sub, and if you do hit that sub button, you're registered for my V-Bot giveaway. I'm going to host a tournament. This tournament is fair, by the way. Not It's not just for highly skilled players to win. You have a chance if you're a low-skilled player. I'm going to ask if you do join the tournament what your skill level is, and whether your preference would be to fight in zone wars, or to be a part of my not-as-skilled group of fighters and go into, like, a prop hunt or some format like that. And I'm going to make the final challenge between the sweats and the not-as-sweaty fair for it all by making it, you know, something neutral that you don't just have to be, like, a pro zone war player to win. I'd also like to inform you I play with viewers all the time, so if you want to be in this Jeep... With me, running up squads, getting dubs, crown wins. All you gotta do is sub, join the stream when I'm live, and just ask to play. It's 100% free. Thank y'all for watching this video. 
we're going to end it out here. Make sure that sub button. Rate the new season out of 10. We're going to have mixed opinions in the comments. But I just want to know, what do you think of this season? Drop a comment down below. I just want to know y'all's opinion. Thank y'all for watching.